everyone, it's Vicky from Minerva. Now, in case you didn't already know, we have a whopping 50% off Camelot fabrics on our site at the moment. And they are all amazing quality fabrics, all 100% cottons, really beautiful quality. And a lot of people look at these fabrics and think, you know, think for quilts or cushions and things like that. But they're absolutely beautiful for dressmaking as well. There's so many things you can make with them. It's a really easy fabric to sew with presses like a dream, it's well behaved, so it's fantastic for making lots of different styles of garments as well. So like I mentioned, they're 50% off on the site, that's only while stocks last, and if you are a member of the Minerva Craft Club, you'll actually be able to save an extra 10% off on top of those sale prices, so it's definitely the time to grab these if you've got your eye on any of them. Now I've pulled out 10 of my favourite fabrics from the Camelot fabric selection on the site and I thought it would be a good idea to pick a pattern to go with each of my favourite fabrics just to give you some ideas on the sorts of things that you can make with these beautiful quality cotton fabrics. So let's get stuck in. So the first fabric I've got to share with you, this has a geometric vibe, almost an art deco sort of style to me, and it's these beautiful fans that are in shades of lemon yellow and a taupey, grey, almost beige colour. It's really, really pretty. Definitely a very um, graphic, geometric, repeat kind of look. And I think that will be absolutely beautiful teamed with the McCall's 6696 shirt dress. Now this is a really popular pattern here at Minerva. It's been going for years and years and it's still one of the best sellers. It's got lots of different options. Um, there's um, a, one with a sleeve, one without a sleeve. There's a three quarter length sleeve with a little cuff detail. For the skirt you have a really full skirt or you have a straight skirt, I particularly love the full one but you know if the straight one is more your style that's gorgeous as well. Just a really classic beautiful shirt dress pattern that has lots of options and in this sort of fabric which like I mentioned is, is a 100% cotton woven non-stretch, it has, you can see the structure in the fabric there. You know, there's not much drape, it's structured so it will hold the shape of that shirt dress beautifully and it will just be lovely to sew with, ideal sort of fabric for a beginner. So that's my first pattern and fabric pairing. The next one I have, so this is a shirt, uh, a men's shirt from McCall's number 6044 and again this is another absolute best selling pattern here at Minerva. There's loads of different options on the shirt so you can you know, pick the design elements that you like from, from any of the views and put your perfect shirt pattern together um, and yeah it's just, there's so many people on Minerva that have made this pattern and it just looks great in so many different fabrics on so many different people, um, yeah it's a winning pattern is that one and the fabric I've teamed that with is this beautiful, almost, has almost like a zebra vibe to it I think, it's not an animal print it's like um, a squiggle repeat geometric almost and it's a navy blue background, a really rich navy with a cream print on it and I just think that would make a great shirt that's you know, really wearable but just a little bit different in the print, something a bit more unusual. You, know, you could team that with jeans or smart trousers and that's going to be a winning combination. Next up we have something for the babies and it's such a cute pattern. This is Simplicity 1447 and it's rated an easy sew pattern. And again there's just, as always, there's so, such good value with the big four patterns. So it's got little dresses, a little summer hat, um, a little top, um, all in ones, even a little summer cap. Loads and loads of different options and it recommends pure cottons uh, or cotton blends perfect for a fabric like this. So I've chose this really cute print that I think will be lovely for a baby. How sweet is that? Really lovely aqua blue turquoise colour with this zigzag stripe. I just think that would be really fun. Great for everyone. I think that's the sort of print that you know you could team that with a little cute little knitted cream cardigan over the top. 
um, yeah that's just a lovely combination and for, for literally any view in that pattern you could use this fabric I think that would be great so next up we have, uh, this is a pattern for slightly older children, so the pattern size range on this goes from ages 3 to 14 and the pattern number is McCall's 7459. Now this is um, a pinafore or dungaree dress and um, dungarees as well, so you have a few uh, different options, you have actually six different options in this pattern. All of them are really lovely, depending on whether you want the skirt style or the trouser version. And all of them will be lovely for a pure cotton um, in this sort of weight. It's perfect for this sort of, um, sort of style. And this design I've gone for, so this, this is a real pop of colour. I think will be beautiful for a child's uh, dungaree uh, dress or dungarees. Isn't that gorgeous? It's again quite a repeat blocky print uh, almost geometric style floral and it's got, it's just this background color is like a really like a true red color yeah a proper red proper red color and yeah it's just so pretty with those flowers in there and i think that would be such a lovely fabric for that sort of style so next up, I thought I'd put in a pattern that is ideal for beginners. So if you are brand new to dressmaking, the Tilly and the Buttons Jamie Pyjama Bottoms are perfect. Um, it even comes with a free video tutorial. So you know, even though the, the, the instructions in, these, in Tilly's patterns really hold your hand throughout the whole process. But on top of that, there's even a free video tutorial as well. And yeah, for, for the Jamie PJs, I mean, any of these Camelot cotton fabrics are just perfect for this pattern. It's the perfect weight. It'd be really breathable and comfortable to wear, um, to, either, you know, to wear is either sleepwear or loungewear. And the design I went for, I think this is so pretty. I love the colours in this one. And this, it has a grey background. Let's hold that out there. It has a grey, a very soft grey background. And then these pink and turquoise, it's almost like a corally pink. And these beautiful, very stylized flowers. So it's very, again, almost has like a geometric vibe to it. It's super pretty. I just think that will be the perfect print for pyjamas. I think that's really lovely. But again, you know, if this isn't your style, literally any of the Camelot fabrics we have in the sale would be perfect for that pattern. Now the next pattern I have, so this is the Inez shirt from Tasuti Patterns. And this is a really beautiful shirt pattern button up with a, a classic collar, uh, pockets on the front. I think it's just, I think in a cotton um, cotton fabric like this, it would really hold the shape of that shirt. It would be lovely and easy to sew. So if you're new to shirt making, the ideal fabric for you. And the design I chose, I love the, I love the yellow with the, the beigey sandy colour in this. Look at that print, isn't that really cool? Almost like a honeycomb, geometric sort of design. Really, really lovely. And I think if you made this as a shirt for summer, for example, you could team that with cream trousers or beige trousers, and that would be a really lovely look. You could even wear some jewellery in the yellow to really make that pop. Yeah, I think that will be a lovely combination. And I was imagining it for summer, but you know, actually you could wear that all year round, couldn't you? That'd be a really, I think, good staple piece in your wardrobe, that one. Next up, we have quite a simple skirt. So this is New Look 6106. And again, you've lots of options in the patterns, different lengths, um, there's a waistband, there's panels around the bottom on some of the versions, uh, there's even button details around the pockets. Really, really lovely skirt. It's going to be nice and easy to sew and perfect for cotton in this sort of weight. Now I went for this style because I think this would be really lovely in a skirt. Again, it's got a very geometric um, look to it and hold that out there. So this fabric, as you can see, it's almost like squares that repeat, but in this scroll design, 
it's really unusual and I think the colour, that magenta pink, is such a beautiful colour. Again, you've got white and black in the design, so you could team that with a black or a white top or even the magenta um, to make a complete outfit. And yeah, again, if you're, if you're a beginner looking to stretch your skills a little bit, I think that will be a really good project. So the second to, no, not second to last, third to last fabric we've got. So this is a really lovely design. This has stylized leaves all over the fabric. There we are, in this beautiful minty green shade. And what I love about this fabric is, well, one is the colour, really pretty colour, but then the, the repeat leaves, just in this simple white, I think it's really, it's quite understated, but the detail in the print in these leaves, which are all different patterns, it's just so lovely. Really love that colour. And I think this will be really lovely in the assembly line cuff top. So, um, yeah, the, the drawing on the front of the envelope doesn't, doesn't tell you too much about this pattern, but we'll insert some pictures in the video that hopefully show it off um, to its full potential. So it has a cuff um, detail on the end of the sleeve. And other than that, it's quite a simple top, really, but it looks really good in a structured cotton fabric like this. So I couldn't not include this pattern in today's video. And I just think that would be a really lovely combination. You could team it with white trousers for summer um, and yeah, wear it with jeans at other times of the year. And that'd be, I think that would be the sort of pattern that you, know, you would reach for again and again in your wardrobe and it would get lots of wear. And in a beautiful print like that, would be just so lovely to wear every day. So second to last, we have, so this is a similar colour to the last fabric, where the background is um, a mint green, quite a vivid mint green, there. But this one, in completely different to the last one by contrast, has all these different colours of um, flowers that each sit in its own um, like little box, if that makes sense. It's a really unusual design. Really, really pretty again, and a nice scale. Not too big, not too dipsy. And yeah, I, I just think it's the colour combinations in this those pinks and purples, oranges, yellows, it's lots of bright colours but it's, it's, it's not overly bright, they somehow all really work together as, as similar colour tones. And the uh, pattern that I've chose for this fabric is Birda 6532. Now this has a dress and a top option in the pattern and the, the bit that I think is lovely on this pattern is the pleat details that go into this scoop neckline detail um, and those pleats I think would look fabulous in this sort of fabric because they would it would really hold the shape of the pleats and would add to the fullness and the, and that sh the shape of that garment so it's not going to hang down really soft and silky and straight like it would in say like a viscose chalet for example um, the, the, this would really hold those pleats and yeah it would just be just be beautiful now the dress has pockets and there is also a little cap sleeve option as well if you don't want it sleeveless so any combination from that pattern in that fabric I think will be lovely and the last pattern of fabric pairing I've got to share with you today so this is the charm patterns Liz dress now this is just a fabulous pattern, it's been on my to sew list for a while and I still haven't got around to it and every time I see it I think I absolutely must make this pattern, it's just beautiful, exactly the sort of, stuff, uh, sort of style I like, a fitted in waist, a big skirt, that vintage sort of vibe, it's just gorgeous and the beauty with this pattern is that you can mix and match different styles um, so the skirt detail with all these different options for the bodice and you know you can choose the bits that you like and, and make your perfect dress style um, and for me it's crying out to be made in a, a, a cotton fabric with some structure absolutely perfect for these camelot fabrics we're show, showing today and this is the absolute beautiful design that I chose 
if you know me you know I love a floral and this one is just so pretty it has a soft grey background that's not plain it has like scrolling decorative details these very pastel aqua candy pink and quite a bright zesty lemon in the flowers and the leaves and then when you look closely you'll actually see butterflies scattered in amongst it as well it's just so pretty and do you not think that would just it's just the perfect combination isn't it it oh it absolutely makes me want to sew this pattern now i think that will be absolutely beautiful so that's all the patterns and fabrics that I had to share with you today. So I hope you found that inspiring and it's give you some ideas what you can make with uh, cotton broadcloth fabrics or quilting weight fabrics like this. As you can see there's just so much variety, so many different styles that you can make and it's a wonderfully easy fabric to sew and to handle. It's beautifully breathable, you can feel the quality of it so it's yeah it's just a wonderful fabric all round and like I say 50% off now on the website but only while stocks last. All of these designs we can't get any more stock of them now so once they've gone they have gone and if you are a Minerva Craft Club member you'll even get 10% off on top of that so yeah it's absolutely fantastic bargain on the site right now. I will tag all the patterns and fabrics that I've mentioned below this video so if you want to check out any of these fabrics and these patterns you can just click on those links and it'll take you to the product pages on Minerva where you've got all the details and you'll also be able to see what other members of the Minerva community have made and um, when they've shared their makes using, using either these patterns or fabrics. It's a really inspiring place to, um, yeah, to get your sojo going. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give us a like and a follow. Thank you very much for watching today. I really enjoyed going through those patterns and fabrics with you as always and I'll look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye.